Hello, everyone. Dr. Prashanti, are you there? I'm just waiting for Dr. Prashanti to join. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome, everyone, and such a warm welcome on behalf of the entire Eat Fruits and Heal team to you, Dr. Prashanti. Thank you so much for joining us at this very early hour for you. So uh, I would just quickly like to introduce Dr. Prashanti before I let her take over. So Dr. Prashanti is a rare gem in the medical field and uh, she uses a diet and lifestyle focused approach to help uh, heal and reverse ailments of not only her patients, but she's helping us all learn through various well cure workshops and running a very nice WhatsApp group wherein she regularly advises all her members on how um, the body has its own self-healing potential and a lot to do with natural hygiene. So today, Dr. Prashanti is going to be sharing a little bit about herself and then taking all your questions. I would request everyone to please uh, keep their, their videos uh, on while asking a question and also raise your hand and also try to be really respectful of her limited time that she's given us. Uh, so we'll try to ask one question at a time and then we'll move on to the next person. And if we have more time, we can come back to your question. And let's keep the urgent questions coming first. So Dr. Prashanti, over to you now. And uh, after your introduction, we'll start taking questions from the participants. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Sure. Uh, hi, Anu and everybody in Fruitarian community. Thanks, uh, Gaurav, for creating such a wonderful community. I've been following this community since it's been there, right? I mean, last year or two years ago, it's been started. And uh, yeah, over and over, I keep hearing about all the uh, healing stories and how well everyone is feeling and doing and how everyone, uh, everybody is feeling motivated to get on this uh, fruit uh, journey. As for myself, yeah, I've been in this on this, not on the fruit path, but whole food plant based path for a quite a long time, maybe six or seven years. It's just my health issues as, my, as well as my daughter's health issues were the ones that started all this process. You can read more about my story on wellcure.com. You can just use wellcure and my name and you, the story is going to come up like how I started off and how I took off on this journey. And since then, it's been a lot of learning, met lots of good people like, you know, Anu, Gaurav, and then many other people that you already know in this field. Uh, but it's been an eye opener, a lot of learning, a lot of fun learning to do. And uh, I, I keep learning every day from everybody. That's what I say. I keep telling everyone uh, about like, you know, where do you get all this information from? How do you understand? I just observe and then just uh, try to learn from whatever that is coming along the way. So yeah, without uh, too much of noise, I would like to like get started since we just have an hour of time. So what can I do to help you guys today? What questions do you have? What do you want us to do? Uh, that's wonderful. Absolutely. We can keep learning. And today we're so, so lucky and blessed to have you here to learn from you and your experiences. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to start taking questions. I'll first take Rohini Gupta's question. Uh, Rohini, go ahead. Hello, Prashanti, ma'am. Hi, everyone. Uh, uh, ma'am, actually, uh, uh, like, I also want to continue with a fruitarian diet. And I'm doing my best. But somehow, you know, I'm not able to put 100%. Uh, I include one cooked meal every day. And rest of the diet is uh, of fruits. So what do you think how it would be helpful for me? Uh, like um, uh, why it is happening that I am not able to skip that one meal out of my diet? And uh, uh, is it helpful uh, for me to continue with this journey? Uh, like I am taking still one cooked meal, 
what do you think what do you suggest um well i mean it depends upon what you are trying to heal first thing is what is the motivation for you what, why are you on this fruitarian <laughs> journey just because yeah. it how heal or what is the cause for it uh actually i i am suffering from heel pain but uh, that too is not that severe that uh, you know i should be that motivated that uh, let me skip all the meals sometimes i try to make it motivation but uh, uh, to be very honest i'm not able to make it <laughs> uh, are you the only one like uh, who is eating cooked food at home you are cooking for other people at home yeah 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 I, I, we are family of four so i need uh-huh. to cook for all other i have two kids and uh-huh. husband yeah <laughs> I know. So I need to cook for them. Yeah, yeah, it happens a lot. Even with me too, the same issue starts because I have two children and husband at home. So we have to cook something for them. And then I, I, I I'm not a hundred percent vegetarian. I'm a, a supporter mm-hmm. of hundred percent vegetarian lifestyle, but it's taking me slower. Like you know, it's just a slower pace to catch up with that. but uh, if i don't have a whole lot of deeper cleaning that need, needs to be done so i'm like okay that's fine we're going to do it what i do is i do a little bit of cooked vegetables i don't do a whole lot of grains only grains i would do is some positive grains like millets or buckwheat if at all i do occasionally but i am mm-hmm. trying to like 100% salt free i'm not able to salt eat salt or spices much so those are gone like salt and spice maybe a little bit of ginger is there but my cooked vegetables are just gently cooked vegetables they are not even overly cooked maybe i just two or three minutes of steaming that's all that's what i feed children to I don't feel guilty about it the thing is like there is not like a 100% vegetarian that's ideal if you have deeper cleaning issues yes go for it please if you have some autoimmune condition some um, significant amount of neuro some in deeper inflammation in, in the system yes go for it but otherwise i think it's better uh, to do it so slowly and you know just cook them smaller meals so that there are not going to be too many leftovers for you and then you end up just giving them their cooked food and then you end up eating fruit the whole day so plan it well organization is the key for moms at this point because i think husbands can do fruitarian meals all the time i have seen them easily get on fruitarian meals if they have to do deeper cleaning because you know they don't have to worry about the cooking part but we have to do deal with it slowly so i totally understand where you are coming from what is going on with you but salt has to go away don't overcook your vegetables don't do too much of grains and lentils but gently cooked vegetables occasionally is okay to eat as long as you're tolerating and you are feeling fine with it yeah great uh, thank you so much and uh, rohini that's I, i hope that helps you we'll take in the next question uh sikha go ahead with your question sikha saksena i think i'll have to just unmute um yeah good evening dr prashanti thank you anushree hi um uh, I was really curious to know the moment I read your title as cardiologist and natural hygiene practitioner so that was very very interesting to know and I would just if you can help us understand what exactly is natural hygiene practitioner uh is it is it a similar thing like naturopath or is it different I know I'm no. maybe a little deviating from uh, this thing but I'm really curious to know yeah no in natu- naturopathy and natural hygiene there are two different there is wide range of difference in naturopathy and natural hygiene natural hygiene is about implementing i mean like you know just about lifestyle whatever a natural lifestyle we are supposed to be using we are just going to put the body to that so body is self healing only thing we have to do is to give it time and space so how do we give it time and space these are the ways that we use our we use decent amount of space in the form of fasting give natural elements in the form of pure water air um they are re- real food not the processed foods even cooked food is processed right so it's going to be real foods 
and uh, uh, the proper amount of uh, balance with earth and all. So these are the only ways we use. In naturopathy, they use other kinds of herbs, other, other, other modalities of treatment. So these are used in naturopathy. So in natural hygiene, it's purely, purely about how the rhythm is to give body time and space and let the body in the self-healing abilities. Just We just facilitate the self-healing abilities to uh, take off themselves in order to heal the guy, heal, heal the patient. So our principles are purely based upon impurities in the system. It's the waste accumulation in the system that cre creates these. So as we clean up all the waste and the impurities, as the body has time, gets time to get rid of those, then body will heal. Disease is nothing but the more accumulation of impurities we have, we move towards the spectrum of disease. The less impurities we have in the system, we are more we move towards the system of health. So that's just we are trying to make keep that balance perfect. That's it. So that's what natural hygiene is all about. So uh, in naturopathy, they so there is always like you know confusion between what naturopathy and natural hygiene are. They all started off in the same path, trying to figure out what it is, and then slowly they discovered that even the herbs itself are. Um, uh, they are counterproductive to what it is because either they accelerate the cleanup, they tend they, they claim to accelerate the cleanup or slow down the cleanup or do something or the other. Again, it's an artificial way of uh, uh, making the body do what the self healing um, self cleanup, which doesn't happen. There is no external agent that's going to make the body clean up. It's the body based on the uh, amount of space it gets. It is the one that's going to decide how it's going to clean up. So body is the boss here. It's not the other elements, external elements that will decide what to do. So am I clear on this? So naturopathy Thank difference. You. Thank yeah, you. So much. Brilliantly explained. So what I understood basically is the five elements of nature, what we are using here to self-clean the body, right? Thank yeah. you. Appreciate. Appreciate. Thank you. Great. Thank you. So Dr. Prashanti, just on that note, so nature cure would be more towards naturopathy, right? So that's not oh, what natural. It's more towards natural hygiene. So, oh. you know, it's like a word, like uh, how we have to use the terminology. It's little nuances in the where uh, the things are. So it all started off, they are all called, they started calling themselves as naturopaths first. And then they started, everybody started experimenting a little bit with herbs. I mean, you know, there are different schools of thoughts. Then the different schools of thoughts, again, they, they kind of like branched out. So some call themselves nature curers, some call themselves as natu natural hygienists. <laughs> so Shelton and all, they wanted a name for themselves. So they call it natural hygiene. So it, yeah. Yeah, so it's like different people. So even we also, sometimes we use wet packs when the patient is having significant, you know, bloating or something and we have to keep them on this path, we use wet packs. So they were you don't use not lot of hydrotherapy, natural hygienist, Shelton and all, they would not encourage a lot of hydrotherapy, but we use it. And they used to use a lot of fasting, extended periods of fasting, like 40 days, 30 days of fasting in their thing. But we don't, in Nature Cure, we do not uh, do extended periods of fasting. We do two days at the max. And if the patient, if the person is hungry, we do not do forceful fasting. So these are there are some differences in the way they do it. But at the end of the day, it's about the self-healing properties of the body, giving time and space to the body. And it's always about impurities in the system. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was really brilliantly explained. Um, so anybody else having any questions? Uh, go ahead, Asit Godbole ji. Uh, good evening, doctor. Oh, good morning to you. Uh, according to your time. Uh, so uh, I, I was just curious. Uh, I have heard uh, people uh, who do, you know, long-term fasting and uh, who are into natural hygiene that uh, there is a lot of accumulation of toxins in our body and uh, when uh, you do long-term fasting and certain techniques like herbal techniques or uh, colonics, then uh, they get uh, uh, get rid of the mucoid plaque and parasites out of the body. So how true is that? And uh, like uh, if somebody like us on this group, we are following a fruitarian path. So is it possible to get all th that garbage out of the body or uh, will it still uh, remain unless uh, we do an any other intervention? 
Um, yeah, like there are some people like Dr. Morse and everyone, they do use some amount of uh, herbs in order to like, you know, uh, do all these cleanups. And then there are uh, some naturopaths who still advise a little bit of enema, uh, especially in chronic patients who have had, you know, like long term issues with significant amount of uh, gum, gut issues. It all depends upon uh, like whatever their perspective is. These are all actually just small aids in order to get us over the hump of detoxing. Once we get over it, we should never be using any of these, but let the body do its thing. So it depends upon, um, it depends upon uh, like, you know, the, their perspective and their experience. I'm not going to go and argue with all these people because they have long term experience with all kinds of people. But I think getting started with fruitarianism is important and fasting is important. Most of the times I haven't encountered a huge big need for enema or, uh, you know, thinking about like, you know, okay, this patient is not doing too well. I mean, should I think about like how to get them over the hump? At the max, we have used wet packs for hydrotherapy. That's the only way that that's the only thing that we have used. I've never got the uh, got much information about, uh, uh, not much information, but never found a whole lot of use with enema, but maybe toner. In some people who have like, you know, older people, they're not <laughs> able to put their bowels that well. They have a lot of mucoid plaque because there's so much dehydration that has happened with grain-based eating and complex food eating over the course of decades. Then sometimes maybe toner can be helpful, maybe helpful just as a symptom reliever, but not as an aid for the body to clean up. Again, see, let's not be stuck in too many rules and regulations and say this is, that becomes way too dogmatic for all of us. Whenever there is a need, maybe use some toner, maybe use some hydrotherapy. But herbs, I'm not be a big fan of herbs because they are purely medicinal. What is a herb is nothing but an alkaloid. If you really extract out the alkaloid in it, it becomes a medicine itself. Uh, again, they uh, they may be purgative, they may be laxatives, they can do other like diuretics, which is again putting a lot of stress and force on the body. So I would not encourage any kind of herbs or alkaloids or any other methods, but toner if needed, if there is a lot of impacted stool, and if their patient is having like it's a weak, debilitated patient, and if they need some help, then yes, you can we can do some encourage some toner. And hydrotherapy always helps a whole lot in these patients. For example, we have patients who are 80 years old and they've been on grain-based for all their life and they are so dehydrated and immediately introducing them to fruit sometimes is not feasible. So it's going to be a slow transition. They have impacted stools there. So in order to clear them, sometimes we do have to think about toner. So uh, do you think like uh, since we are on this uh, protein path, is it possible to uh, detoxify completely if we stay on this long enough? So what is, um, see, fruit is, food is only one part, right? One element of the whole thing. The most important things are there are many other elements. So just by eating fruit, yes, you can sit in a dark room. Can you eat fruit and heal yourself? It's not possible. It's not at all possible. Can you just constantly eat fruit and think that without giving a break to the body, without proper rest to the body, do you think you can heal? That's not possible. So it has to be all the other elements too. Can you uh, can you just keep like you know keep going on with your stress that is there in your in your family life or in your work life and keep eating fruit and think you're going to heal yourself? No. Again, the stress part also plays an important role. So the, there are three drainers, major drainers. One of them is a physical drainer. Okay, if you are over enthusiastic about exercises and all of them, then you have to think reconsider that. And if you you cannot keep on eating, even fruit will also cause a digestive load because when you are not hungry, keep feeding yourself all this fruit, thinking that I'm healing, I'm healing. It's not helping the cause. And the major drain would be the psychological drain, especially for all of us who are modern city dwellers who haven't like had a chance to take a break from everything just by blindly eating fruit and not working on our stress levels. It's not going to help with the healing. So it has to be everything. See, I have even seen people who are like, you know, eat uh, extremely processed food, but they do not take any kind of stress in their life and they don't fall sick. So mental balance is the most important key at this point that needs to, I mean, we all need to work on. 
So even like this obsession about, you know, oh, I need to eat fruit and debating with other people about eating fruit and trying to tell about our own lifestyle itself. It's another mental drainer. And that also makes us sick. So, yeah, don't engage in, in too many things. Don't overthink about fruitarian and them or don't think this is the only path going forward for healing. So uh, proper knowledge and understanding how things work are important. That's what I'm, I'm keep looking in the group. It's like, okay, you guys are working on, you put your meal one, meal two, meal three. Okay, but how much of mental relaxation did you get? How much of stress did you work on? So those are the ones important that that's very important to play on, especially in Indian dynamics. We have so much of baggages that are coming out. It's, I see patients on Wellcure, uh, you know, for a consultation. And uh, I haven't been in touch with India for past 20 years. I rarely go. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of connection with India much. So, but I do sometimes watch TV and I keep looking at TV and I'm like, oh my God, this much of drama on TV. But then when the participants are coming to talk to me, I'm like, oh my God, I'm literally watching another Bollywood movie here. So that much of drama is going on in other people's lives over there. So, yeah, so the peak amount of tensions and stress and all kinds of dynamics are mingling in Indian, uh, Indian um, uh, this one family dramas. So that's even bringing up the stress levels how a lot. Um, yeah, here there is not much of family stress or nothing going on, even though, you know, the, uh, you know, there are so many uh, other issues that are going on with single moms or divorces and all kinds of things that are going on. Somehow they have adjusted to that lifestyle. In India, still that adjustment is still going on. So a lot of things are going on with the stress factors in India. Beautifully explained, Thank you. Prashanti. Uh, that was just so wonderful because that's exactly what I've also experienced. I eat fruits here the whole year and I don't get the best quality fruits. And I sometimes don't even get fruits. But still, because the stress levels are a lot lower without all the family drama, the social pressures, uh, I feel like my body performs a lot better here than it does in India. So you're so, so point on. Uh, I just yeah. wanted to, you know, make sure that, yeah, I, uh, that that's beautifully explained and emphasized. Yeah. So <laughs> all of you are engaging in a, like an entirely different lifestyle now. So don't argue with everybody. Don't debate with everyone. Don't prove yourself. You're doing it for yourself. So don't uh, get into any other debates or arguments with family members or don't drain yourself. Energy, mental drain is a huge, big, like, you know, 80% or 95% of all, whatever vitality we have, the inner energy we have every day is lost into that. So we do not have a whole lot of energy left or vit no, vital force that is left to clean up our body. So that's when the toxins keep piling up, piling up, accumulating, and that's when we become diseased. So we, when that's when we experience sickness. Yeah, Great. like uh, yeah, I've been like talking to a lot of youngsters. There is all their like you know, uh, like there is a lot of alcohol that's involved in the Indian. Then there is a lot of pornography that has crept in, which are like like. I'm like, okay, what is going on here? Like, they're like, oh, yeah, we just got addicted to porn or we just got addicted to this and that. So it's like the free, so, so, uh, stress for everyone. And uh, yeah, we, the roots of uh, spirituality are really being uh, like, you know, um, that they've been cut off totally. So work on all those, just not meal one, meal two, meal three. But I think at the end of the day, you all have to also put on how much of mental stress or how much of de-stressing you were able to do uh, whenever you're sending back your logs in the groups. That's a great yeah. feedback. And we'll make sure we incorporate that now onwards. Uh, for all the mentors also, this is really important. Thank you. We'll take Parul's question. Parul, go ahead. Parul, please uh, switch on your camera. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. I just want to know that uh, I am on the food from last four months. So can I also include some greens in my diet? Oh, why? So let's ask this question. So why did you get on a fruit diet? What happened? Is it just because you like the lifestyle or was it something for you wanted to clean up yourself? 
No, actually nowadays I'm feeling heaviness in my chest area. So I don't know why it is happening. Uh -huh. And whenever I get up from anything like from sofa or bed, so I feel very heaviness. So I don't know why it is happening. And from last 15, 20 days is happening so much. So I thought okay. let's go. Uh, no, why did you get on the fruit diet, first of all? You said for four months you've been on fruits, right? Why did you get on the, on the fruit diet? Uh, actually, happened? I have so many issues. Like I have skin allergy uh, with the allopathic medicine. Then I had my thyroid problem, which was uh, seven years old. And now I totally stopped. Uh, four months, I'm not having my single medicine of thyroid. And so many things, uh, hair fall, acne, so many things are now, you know, recovered right. from this. So and are my you weight loss is also Andy? Yeah. Are you enjoying this fruit lifestyle? Uh, yeah, sometimes I enjoy, but sometimes I get, uh, you know, uh, bored because, uh, you know, I don't like sometimes to eat grapes and, you know, that uh, uh, watermelon, but I don't know what other solution I can give because here Man some seasonal foods we are allowed to eat, but. Yeah, mangoes are coming. Why don't you eat mangoes? So for your condition, like you said, allergies, thyroid issues and everything, right? So the same thing, uh, you, you need to continue on this fruit system. Uh, this one, mm -hmm. grains are not advised. Actually, grains are only for people occasional need that do not for people who are having health issues, okay? So mm -hmm. grains are just reserved for people who never went through a whole lot of health issues or anything, maybe for occasional use, but grains are extremely taxing on the system, especially for modern humans. Grains are actually, it's better to forget about grains. That's my take on grains, okay? So um, yeah, just if you are on this path for four in four months, you still are having this uh, chest pressure is because of bloating. There is a lot of old waste that is sitting, sitting in the system that needs to clean up. So there is a lot of gases that are rising up from the gut. That's the reason why you're feeling all this chest pressure. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the main reason. So keep continuing this, but you need to incorporate some days of water fasting in between that will help you to get the gases out and get you clean up done. So at least 18 hours of pure, only water fasting followed by breaking your fast with fruit will help you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you working on the mental stressors? Remember the drainers that we were talking about just now? Like, you know, why? So all, all these, like everybody who is getting into this path of fruitarianism or like cleaner eating, you guys need to understand more about why you are doing it. So reading more books on natural hygiene, either from Shelton or any of the earlier older people, or we have a lot of Indian authors too, like Lacharya Lakshman Sharma's books are there. They have written very well on those. So take some of these books. And Dr. N.K. Sharma talks a lot about um, healing, self-healing properties of the body, how grains are not our food. So he has even written a book on in English, N.K. Sharma, Grains. So that book is super helpful for us to read and understand. So the more under we understand, the more logic we are going to apply. And then the more we are not going to go back and thinking, should I go back on grains? What am I doing? Should I eat the fruit? How long am I going to eat? So all these questions, is all, it's always about self-learning, understanding, and relearning a lot of things. So that's the path we have to take. It's good that you guys are on this community in this community motivating each other. That really helps a whole lot. But again, learning for yourself, trying to understand why you're doing this will be very helpful. So coming to your question, uh, back yeah. to great. I just want to know that uh, like uh, I'm now pregnant and I'm three months uh, like going to and uh, uh, my pregnancy like uh, nine weeks is over. So uh, is the uh, like water fasting is feasible for me? Oh, no, then don't do it. You didn't tell me about it, that part. So that gases and everything is secondary to everything that's going on with you. You didn't tell me about the pregnancy part. Congratulations, by the way. Is this your first child? No, no, this is my second one. Second child. Okay. So you just need to eat more calorie dense fruits in the form of mangoes or papaya. Then bananas are always there. You can do some amount of smoothies that you like to do. So quantity needs to go up. Okay. So try to do that way. And then you can do add some cucumbers and tomatoes. There are also fruit. You can do them. So you can do two cucumbers, tomatoes, little bit of avocados, or you can add avocado or coconut can be a fruit to the tender part of the coconut, then take coconut water. So that's where you will be getting, if you think about where is my fat coming from, that's where you'll be getting the fat from. 
But I think this is the best thing for you to do during pregnancy. Baby is going to really have a great time. I would even add a little bit few amount of tender greens if you want to. I know in uh, Gaurav's group, you guys don't do tender greens, but it's okay to use tender greens during this uh, uh, phase of life. Um, yeah, so tender greens uh, you can do. So try and see, but at, there are a lot of raw uh, raw foodies who have gone through, who got pregnant and who have had a healthy pregnancy, an easy delivery. I don't know if your first pregnancy was a C-section. Or what, is gone. what was that? Hello? Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Your, uh, it was a C-section. Her first pregnancy was a C-section only. Your first pregnancy was a C-section. So how long is the first pregnancy? Think her child is six. Hello. Yes. Parul. Yeah. Dr. Yeah. Pishanti yeah. wants to know that your earlier pregnancy was a C-section or normal, and how old is your first child? Okay. Okay. So uh, earlier was my C-section only. My child that time was four kg weighted that time, and now mm -hmm. uh, the thing is that I want to lose weight, but uh, should I uh, like uh, can I lose my weight or it will increase? Because till now I didn't increase, like my weight is not increased as yet. But it doctor will, is telling. Hmm. Yeah, it will go up. If you can contact Anu, then we can share. Anu, I think we should share Shelton's hygienic care of children. And I think there is a book in our library. We can share it with her. So uh, you can do that. And the first thing is, if it's a six, six months, six years ago with a C-section, I think you can go for a normal vaginal delivery. It's called okay, as... Okay. Is it okay? Because I really want the normal delivery only. So but I, the, the people are saying, no, once you do have C-section, you cannot have normal delivery. No, that that's a myth. We can share some ideas. There are a lot of uh, like groups over here in the U.S., where we do uh, uh, C section, I mean, normal delivery after a C section. Okay, that's number one. What city are you in? You need to get in touch with a birth center, not with a regular hospital. Okay. So you have to. Which city are you in? I'm in Pune, Maharashtra. Okay, Pune, Maharashtra. Then we can give her Crystal's number contact. I think Crystal is somewhere in Bombay. So we can do Crystal's number. Then we can do Shelton's book for her. And also you need to be aware of vaccinations too. I don't know if you guys are like, I don't know what you guys do in this group, but you need to be aware. So you should not be injecting. Other, see, if the food that goes in you is, is so pure and you want to make sure that pure food is given to your baby, you should not be letting anybody inject other, uh, like, you know, uh, unknown chemicals and everything into your body because it's going to affect the body, baby. So you have to be careful about it. Any medications, no medications, no multivitamin pills, nothing, no foreign elements into the body, okay? But uh, doctor has recommended me the folic acid and the vitamin D uh, capsule. And I started from today itself because my husband is pressurizing. No, uh, then doctor said that folic acid, then it's the only supplement kind of. So. No, no. Folic acid is a, is a industrial um, chemical. You do not get. So by eating inorganic industrial elements, we never get any nutrients or vitamins. It only adds toxicity to the system. Okay, so the fresh the food is, the more amount of nutrient densities, all the folic acid, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you're going to derive it from the food that you are eating from the fruits. Okay, what and vitamin vitamin D, huh? yes. vitamin D is sun rays. You need. You are living in Pune. Why do you need external? How can somebody put a sun rays in a capsule and sell it to anybody? How can we do that? Vitamin D is from sun rays, okay? So the more cleaner the body is, the more amount of sun uh, rays you're going to capture and more vitamin D is produced. In the so that's what you're my, my working hour is like that from eight uh, morning till five o'clock. So when I go office, then that time there's no sun rays. I have it. And now you will have I come enough. Work also. You are on a fruititarian diet, right? So make everybody at home eat fruit. So there is no time to spend in the kitchen. Everybody will be chopping and eating fruit. So all the time you spend in the kitchen, you're going to be using it outside, exposing yourself to sun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So six to eight is there. You can always work, bring your laptop outside. All pretty much everyone in our community 
uh, in our natural hygiene community who works indoors. They have an outdoor workplace set up. So they sit outside, like you guys have a lot of open spaces in, among your buildings, right? So he bring, my friend brings out all his stuff, including his fruit. He sits on the ground and he does his work. He has a nice desk, like a, uh, like a stool, like a desk, like about the height where if he sits down on the ground, it comes up to his height. So he can just keep uh, typing up, doing things for himself. Mm-hmm. So, and um, one more thing I want to ask that uh, I'm in a fruit diet. So should I like uh, eat more um, juicy fruits or like, like banana can I also, because sometimes I eat banana 12 at a time. So yeah, is eat- it advisable or I with, uh, with water I can... No, you can follow at a time because you have to feed two people. So there is no harm in eating. So so when you're eating natural foods, you eat only up to how much you feel like, up to your satiation. You don't overdo. There is no salt in it in order to make you mindlessly eat and all that. So you, you eat up to your limit. You don't ever, nobody overeats. So don't worry about eating 12 bananas when you are on this diet. It's actually a good thing that you are able to eat 12 and feel satiated. <laughs> yeah, because uh, earlier when I used to have banana, so I can make only smoothies. But nowadays I'm feeling here that uh, heaviness in my on my chest. So I thought maybe because of a uh, lot of eating banana without water, like without making smoothies, so maybe that uh, gastric tissue has came. No, no, it's, uh, it has everything, but uh, you can uh, like uh, try and see, but it's improves, it will improve. It's just part of the pregnancy hormones and everything, that little bit of gastric acidity, it will settle. All right, thank you. Yeah, but, don't, but don't take these vitamin pills, they will increase your acidity issues. There is no need for taking I all that stuff. I don't want it, but my husband is pressurizing why you are so much into this food and all I know, but doctor if suggested, then you have to follow there because uh, that body, uh, that baby's brain and nerves is like, uh, it is required folic acid that what doctor explained that day. Oh, but- uh, Parul, what? I'll share with you all of Dr. Re- uh, Prashanti's resources. I have a full list of all the books she recommends for children's care and pregnancy. Right. So I'll yeah. share with you all that. And uh, okay. yeah, be in touch with me. If there are any pressing questions, I'll ask Dr. Prashanti sure, separately sure. because Thank she's so obviously much. brought up kids and she's very well aware of this situation. Thank I'll take uh, so some much. other questions that there are many you have. One more. Yeah, Sorry, one more. One more thing I wanted to say, uh, wait, uh, for Parul was uh, every time you get this question, like, am I eating every nutrient that is needed under the sun for my baby? You just look at a cow, okay? What does a cow eat? Cow doesn't eat any kind of a special diet during pregnancy. It just keeps eating grass, right? So does the cow worry about where is my baby's neural tissue going to be developed from? How, how much of omegas I need? How much of this and that I need? It's all it is doing is eating its own species-specific diet. It's the same thing for humans too. You will get everything. Body knows what to do. It knows how to create a baby in nine months with everything that you supply. Even with an inferior quality of diet, you know, people eat all kinds of so much of chemical laden food, but they still manage to give birth to such a beautiful baby, fully developed, no other issues, nothing like that. So now imagine you are feeding the right kind of food to your baby, to your body, and imagine the quality of food and the amount of tissues that the babies will be born with. So body knows how to filter it out. The body knows what to take. Do You just don't have to tell body what it is. You just do what is needed for it. So it means I don't require any greens in my fruit journey. I'm okay with this. Is it okay? No, no you. she said that she doesn't require any grains and she's okay no. with the fruit journey. No grains needed. Yes. Not grains, greens or like oh, uh, green. spinach and green. you know, tamar. Like you that. can, if you want to, if you have access to fresh ones, you can use a little bit, few of them. It's just, you know, like different varieties. If, a, for example, a cow will eat different varieties of grass, it's not just going to stick to one kind of a grass. It's kinds of grass. It's the same thing, just like how we are eating. As humans, the main diet needs to be fruits, the watery vegetables, tender greens, and few amount of nuts. This is the kind of diet we are supposed to be eating in the long term. Most of you are on a healing path, so that's why we are suggesting lots of fruit for you all. But uh, yeah... Uh, so that's what you need to think about. 
Great. And Dr. Prashanti, even regards with, with vaccinations, it's the same opinion as you have uh, that Gaurav Ji also endorses that uh, it's not needed. But yeah, we, yeah. I mean, we from can definitely time take time that up another health. time. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. From time to time, we have to keep telling everyone because, you know, sometimes... Yeah, I know that... it's so important. It's so important, yeah. especially yeah. with what we've been bombarded by and we keep getting bombarded by. So um, I think Jaina Seth had a hand raised for quite some time. Pooja, go ahead with your question. Pooja Saraoki. Yeah, Dr. And Prashanti. turn on your camera, please. Yeah, good evening, Dr. Prashanti. Prashanti, Hi. I have a one question. You told about the vaccination part. So is it compulsory for the children also to avoid the vaccination if they are not on the fruit diet? So can we avoid the vaccination on that part also? Yes. So you cannot see. The thing is, like a lot of people keep asking the same thing. Oh, my God, my children don't eat the way, cleaner way. So what are we going to do without them? So the answer is, first thing is not a clean diet means there is a lot of impurities in the system. So let's assume the impurities are here. Impurities are here. Then you're putting all these ingredients in the vaccine. The impurities in the system are going to go sky high. They're going to exponentially high. So we first thing is, that's why I'm telling all of you. Just you're on a fruit diet. That's great. You're understanding this, but understand other aspects of this natural hygiene too. What is a fever? What is a flu? What is a cold? What is a COVID? You need to understand what these, these are nothing but the cleaning efforts of the body in order to get rid of the impurities in the system. So why do you want to suppress them? You should not suppress them. You should let them happen. Otherwise, more and more impurities are going to keep accumulating. And once they grow into adulthood, then they're going to have other chronic conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, autoimmune conditions, cancers. All of them are going to come in. The more cleanup happens, the more cleaner our body is. It's almost like you look at a COVID or a, uh, this one as a flu, as a Diwali cleanup. How well we feel once we do Diwali cleanup in our home. Home feels so decluttered and clean. So that's what these are all about. So why do you want to prevent these things from happening with the vaccination? You want the cleanups to happen so that the body gets cleaner. So the more number of vaccinations, immunizations that have gone into children, the more risk of long-term chronic conditions in these children because of the exponential increase in the uh, impurities in the system because there are these vaccines. Vaccines are not like, you know, uh, they're not innocent. They have heavy metals. They have formaldehyde. They have polyethylene glycol, a lot of antibiotics. Petal human cells. <laughs> How serum? You should not be, like if I put these ingredients on a cupcake and give them to you, you're going to say, tell me, are you crazy? Why are you trying to food poison me? But if I put them in a while and tell them, oh my God, this is the lifesaver, then people are just going to stand in line and take them. Last night, I my daughter was like watching this movie, the recent movie of Shah Rukh Khan and Deepika. They start talking about smallpox vaccine. Has anybody seen that? smallpox like everyone is like they're talking about the bioterrorism they kind of like did that new movie it's these okay. movies are all brainwashing yeah. so people are like oh my god smallpox is there monkeypox is there we need a vaccine they they have made the vaccine as something big like you know as if it's going to save the life so uh save the lives of humans it's a wrong notion the more grain people were taking the more processed foods they were taking the more they were detoxing so in, that's uh, always they blame the germ for something or the other of the human errors. And they always come back with some amount of a medication in order to cure it or a drug to cure it. So don't fall for all this crap anymore. So again, understand what these are. That's why foundation in natural hygiene is important. You guys came halfway with the knowledge of fruit and species specific diet. Now take it to the other halfway too. Take the other full length path and understand what exactly all these natural hygiene topics are about. Yeah, ma'am, one more question about the fasting. Ma'am, yes, I am suffering from the IBS problem and I have a lot of issues. Ma'am, do you recommend the fasting at that time? Yeah, fasting will help. See, what happens when you fracture, if I fracture your bone, what, what do you do? You put it in a cast and do you move it or do you give it rest? Rest. So the same thing with IBS too. Your gut is not working very well. So the most important thing is not to keep feeding it fruit, but to give it rest in the form of fasting. So the more you keep moving it, the more it's going to 
it doesn't get time to heal itself so you need to give it rest so fasting is advised people are worried about oh my god i'm already so thin i'm going to lose more weight well the gut is not working no matter how much food you feed it's not going to absorb so what's the point so give it rest let it recover then the weight will build up gradually it will take you a couple of years to heal but this is the only path going forward for you and then what sort of fasting do you recommend it water fasting for at least like this is what i tell everyone like you know uh, so mon- so every day you can do on fruit and then on a saturday if when you are free take a water fast every week okay and do you recommend it 16 hour intermediate fasting also well on a fruit diet it's not i advise it, if you are hungry do not do not keep prolonging the fast eat okay if you are okay if you are feeling still energetic and if you go for, go if you can go on yes go ahead do the 16 hour intermittent fasting 14 or 16 ma'am 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 you said a water fasting if we go on the fasting without taking water a little bit of water not so much water then it's also fine drink as per your thirst you always have to listen to the voice of the organism you cannot override the senses of the voice of the organism okay ma'am yeah so dr so prashanti when you say fasting you mean like not extended periods but uh, maybe two not days period. or one day fasting yeah. and that to drink as per your thirst but also mm-hmm. make sure that if you are really hungry then eat when your body asks for it but don't just force feed yourself this is more when you are feeling like your system is overwhelmed so take that break for 24 mm-hmm. to 48 hours right yeah yeah great great uh hope that answers your question pooja i'll take um minakshi go ahead with your question hello prashanti ji um i'm a fruitarian for one and a half month now uh i started it to cure myself out of muscular dystrophy which i got to know 11 years back and uh, i tried a lot of things but couldn't help it uh now i am a walker patient for nearly 2 years and uh, ayushi i came into contact with the ayushi ji and gorav sir and uh, since then i am on a fruit journey uh would you like to suggest me something else to what else should i take care of while following the fruit diet or what else should i need to add to my diet yeah so for muscular any kind of um, any any kind of issue whatever you want to call it neuritis muscular dystrophy myositis any of them it's all secondary to toxin accumulation in the system impurities in the system i know you're going through a lot it's a lot to, to take at this point but i mean you look very positive so the first thing is to understand how the disease came to understand the root cause of the disease and be positive about it and the fruit diet will help you a whole lot so i think you're going to be on fruits for life i mean that's a beautiful journey so do not consider this one as an imposition but embrace it and wholeheartedly start loving it fall in love with it that will help you a lot and plenty of sunlight and decent amount of movement is needed because the lymphatics have to move lymphatics are the one that carry all the impurities out so those are the ones that are going to help you so your sun exposure is important and mental distressing okay do not worry about uh you know uh, what am i doing how what am i going to do all this just be in the moment and don't worry about future or think about the past so mental distressing is more important at the same time and again uh, incorporating a day of fasting in a week will help you start with 18 hours and then keep going forward if as needed all right and uh, like uh, whenever i fast uh, i feel very hungry uh, intermittently like once i had a viral uh, during this month one month journey uh, mm-hmm. even that What day i was on water fast but uh, i had to take uh, fruit twice a day at yeah. that time also okay let me ask you one question have you been on too many medications over the period since you have been diagnosed with muscular dystrophy or you did not take any medication uh, they gave me supplements only as uh, in india they said that there is no possible cure till now uh, so i went through ayurveda homeopathy like that type of medicines once uh, i met uh, an orthopedic uh, orthopedic who gave me uh, steroids and i took it for one month uh, unknowingly and uh, then i gave it up taper uh, tapered it and then i left 
Yeah, the more the amount of pharmaceuticals, the more amount of humanizations, the more amount of all these things that have gone into us, the longer it is going to take for us to detox. So it looks like you've had a short course of exposure to all these things. So it's okay uh, for now. And then the amount of, like you're saying, like you're hungry, it's okay. Eat, do not for like it's going to come with practice. You just started it a year, one month ago. So it's going to come with practice. So as you dwell more in this community and start doing all these things, it will get better. So with the, it's all about learning. You also start reading more about, you know, uh, books like you know, Shelton's books are for free online or his lectures are for free online. Just keep listening. Try to understand how body heals. I think he has many stories of um, like, you know, this kind of like poliomyelitis, neuritis, some other issues where their people were able to do a whole lot better, improved quality of life with this, with natural hygiene uh, uh, way of living. So they were into fasting centers. They were doing prolonged periods of fasting, but you need to, uh, first, thing, first thing is you have to get adjusted to this lifestyle. Then we'll think about extended periods of fasting for this kind of a condition. Yeah, intermittently, Prashant. like I take salad, is the uh, is it okay? I take ah, yeah. uh, occasionally. Yeah, that's fine. It's don't worry about it. Like eat as per your thing, because the more we get scared of what we are putting in our body, the more it becomes into your toxin. So eat it mindfully and know what you are doing, and just do not think hundred times before you put it in your mouth, and then you won't be able to digest if you keep thinking about it too much. Yeah. Okay. Great. Awesome. Did, she is, yeah. She's very positive and you know, like earlier she was not able to even stand properly in the kitchen, but now she's able to stand. So so she's improving day by day. Yeah, it yes. will get better. It will surely get yes. better. I can say that 10% uh, 10 uh, of my ailment is reversed. That's good. Yeah, it will. But exposure to sun, more exposure to sun, more resting more mental de-stressing. Okay, don't worry about present or I mean, future or past. Just remember to be in the moment. Manaksi, you definitely look so positive and you're very inspiring. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sharing. It's uh, all because Pooja, of my community. Yeah, yeah that's, that's amazing. No, that's, that's amazing. We're blessed to be part of such a beautiful setup. And yeah, Thank you. Uh, Pooja Khangale, we'll take your question. Sorry, I'm going a little fast just because I want to make sure we try to cover all the hands uh, before Dr. Prashanti has to leave and we have a few more minutes. Pooja, go ahead. Ma'am, I'm 26 year old and diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I'm doing uh, uh, fruit fast. But still, uh, 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 I need you. Uh, what can, what I uh, will you suggest? Uh, well, fruit is great. So how long have you been doing it? Again, the, have you been, did you take a whole lot of medications during this period of time from the diagnosis or you didn't take and you just started fruitarian path? I was taken uh, Ayurvedic medicines for six months. Then I stopped okay. everything. Okay. No need of medications, mm -hmm. but just get you uh, more fruit. Like, you know, just keep on, keep going on the fruit. You need sunlight. So more exposure to sunlight, pleasant sunlight, morning time and evening time, at least two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening is needed. Okay. And yeah, don't think too much about the disease. It's all, once you know what it is, it's just impurities accumulated in the joint. And then slowly, as you keep cleaning up, the body is going to clean up and then you're going to start feeling better. Is it okay to take uh, some green juices or only on uh, fruit fast? Okay, occasionally you can take some green juice if you want to. Coconut water, green juice, a little bit. But uh, yeah, don't think of green juice as a medicine or it's going to be a healer. It's going to heal you, etc., etc. It Just drink it because you like to drink it. You want it to, to have a different taste. You can do that. Uh, Dr. Prashanti, on this note, I would just like to add um, or ask you, would, would, would eating greens be better than juicing them or would you not recommend? Uh... Yeah, it's fine. You can do eating greens, but I don't know how many, like, you know, like here we get lettuce and spinach and all of them. Over there, it's getting complicated to find greens as such. So most of the greens that they get are, they can be, they, they are not 
like they can't eat them raw as such maybe a little bit of juicing is helping them in order to just get the some green uh, green things in them like dania leaves or uh, the palak or any of them but if you can eat the tender greens just by itself all you need is this much but even if you don't eat them that's fine too but sometimes you know we feel like munching crunching on something you can eat and it's also know, sometimes but, just for the I, change of taste right that you're like yeah, yeah that's fine yeah that's fine sometimes no don't be too strict on these things because then it becomes like an imposition right no perfect and you're so right that creates more stress than anything else yeah. damaging the system mm -hmm. and since they since people are doing this long term that's important to understand that you know it's not it's a lifestyle it's not like a treatment that we are doing mm -hmm. so we've got to moderate it great uh sandeep narula go ahead okay a request to everyone first when you are asking questions just tell that Uh, since how long you are uh, uh, eating fruits okay and tell your history of it so that she can guide you sandeep okay, narula you have to start your video so that uh, yeah start your video and let's just go a little quick because we have eight more hands and we want to make sure we can cover them uh harish mandral go ahead since i see sandeep narula's left okay. yes okay uh, good afternoon everyone uh, we live in mascot oman uh, we have not started even following the fruitarian path we just had a couple of session yesterday was one of them um i have um, what are we doing uh, we have been doing before this actually um, in, in out of three meal we are eating one meal as a food and two are still we are on the grains and other uh, type of food but i have a different question doctor um, we have a, a six year son uh, he has just started um, showing some uh, patches the white patches of uh, and then the doctor had diagnosed as vitiligo i just want to know um, how can we improve his uh, immune um, so you know uh, in the allopathy they have told that we cannot do anything you have to try something um, a natural pathy or some other source of uh, the medical assistance yeah this has become a huge big issue we been like you know we do lot of conduct lot of well cure autoimmune courses and a lot of children are coming to us with history with some vitiligo issues vitiligo has gone up significantly higher so were you a meat eater in the past or vegetarian uh no son never had but we used to eat yes your son never had meat so most of the times it's a fish and the dairy products that are the, that are prevalent in the community are making children have these depigmentation patches along with immunization so Uh, so you need to understand about the side effects of these immunizations first thing, and then fruitarian diet would really perfectly fit him very well. Um, at least I uh, reversing is uh maybe it's possible, but the thing is, whatever the skin is reflecting is deeper issue. So the skin is just a reflection of what is happening happening deep down in us. So there is more and more deeper issues in the organs, deeper organs that the skin is trying to show up. so uh so healing happens in a way where the body gives preference to most important structures first so that's where the healing happens and then it's going to reflect back onto the skin so it's this slow process but that pro issue is very deep so you guys need to act right now and start changing the diet and everything so at least if it's not for a fruitarian if your child doesn't want like you know it's not, it sometimes it takes some time so at least make him more grain free oil free salt free and give him more like gently steamed vegetables with lot more fruit for meal that will help him okay thank you so much thank you okay yeah. great uh, maria ji will take your question uh, thank sorry, you sorry sorry anu sorry just, uh, uh, yeah doctor just want to know anything uh, other than this ecos will try to have this um, the the food change uh, the change anything we can read more about it uh, so we can as a parent we can you know uh, try something different also like what do you want to try different i just uh -huh. want to do i mean in terms of the lifestyle changes or anything uh, as a parent uh, we can uh, uh, make some change in our lifestyle yeah food is one anything any food other is uh, stressing him resting him more not worried about not making him worry too much about school the stress the bullying in school all those things also play an important role on sunlight exposure i know you live in muscat i don't know how much of uh, it is when no skin external skin applications with sunscreens and all so you have to work on everything okay fine thank you so much thanks thank you thank you maria ji go ahead 
Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, doctor, for joining with us, giving your time. Thank you, Anushri Samani. I have four or five general, uh, very uh, small, small questions as so many people are waiting. So uh, can I start? And Dr. Esper, your time yeah. available. Please give your the answers and I will stop where you. Like first question is, uh, is the ground uh, green coconut water tender, which, which we generally drink, and this brown coconut water also we get here. So are they both nutritionally same? Or no? I don't know much about green and brown, but I think green is the tender coconut water, which is easy to, easy to, I uh, like this one. But I always find the brown coconut water very strong, like the smell and it feels very fatty to me, the one that we get. So I would say uh, rather stick to the tender, co green tender coconut water. Thank you, Dr. And one thing that uh, I'm going through IBS, IBS healing, and since one year, I'm going to now complete uh, basic fruit diets and with little uh, bit of uh, greens, as per uh, Gauravji said, I have included. Now, uh, feces, do we, should we pay attention to our, like feces, like whether they are sinking or floating or how, previously they were mucus rich, but now should we, uh, does it indicate something or is it just okay, normal? It will, it, they will, they all fishes have to sink. So they will gradually do that as you improve your diet and uh, your gut heals. So it's, uh, it's improving like from mucus, mucus laden to now they are kind of like you, they're more formed. So it's a process. Uh, so yeah, it took us, I'm assuming you are in your thirties or forties. So it took us 30 or 40 years to come to this stage. So just give it some time. It's will improve next year. It's going to get even more better. It heals yeah. body. Heal. you're just giving it time and space but the thing is we cannot expect miracles to happen overnight because remember all this irritable bowel disease the disease whatever we are talking about they did not build up overnight it's a small small errors in lifestyle multiple errors are being done all these ripples have created a huge big tsunami in the form of irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's or ulcerative colitis or whatever health condition you're going through so give it some time Okay, so from floating, it will go to sinking. That will be no issue. And uh, my two questions are like for general uh, people, because some are on like maybe who are transition one cooked along with the fruit diet. You can say that some people are taking full-fledged meals also, but with no mental pressure, they are going good. So what about uh, recommended foods for them and toothpaste use? Like we are not using toothpaste, but maybe the people who are having one cooked meal or something like that. So what is your recommendation on these two things on fermented foods and toothpaste, doctor? Toothpaste use? Yeah, toothpaste, I mean, you can use neem or whatever. I mean, like you, there are many homemade uh, toothpaste recipes. You can look up online. They use like a bit of coconut oil or little uh, other oh. kind of like uh, spices, like cloves and all of them. So just look up on Wellness Mama or some other website. You're going to find many other examples of how you can make them homemade. Uh, so that's not that uh, hard. You can make everything homemade. Uh, with whatever kitchen ingredients you have. So instead of putting them in your food, you just put them as a mouthwash a little bit because it takes some time. As you clean up your diet, then the mouth, uh, the breath and everything will stop uh, smell. It's going to start smelling better. Now coming to your question about, I didn't understand the second question. If people are eating grains a little bit, what do you recommend for them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, this is my question for toothpaste and fermented foods for them only. Those people who are taking like, Maximum, maybe fruits, but then little here and there, like maybe cooked or maybe millets diet or like something. So what about your recommendation for those people? Like we like are not the, taking on the fruit diet, these two things, but those people who are. Yeah, I mean, like, let's make, add more, yeah, let's just make sure they add more vegetable and less amount of grain. Grain should be a side dish if they're eating, no oil, unlimited amount of salt. Salt free is the best then they won't be even able to eat much because of it doesn't taste the way it is. So, uh, so yeah, they can try and see, but cooked me, uh, the grain should be just a side dish. Yeah. And yeah. No also, um, 
Maria ji, I'm, I, I think Dr. Prashanti has gone over a whole list of what all is important besides food. So they need to take care of all those things. And also, I feel like it's their medical history and what all they're going through that's more important in determining what they should do. So let's not take random questions because uh, I think Dr. Prashanti said she wanted to be here for an hour and she has a lot of commitments through the day today. So I want to be respectful of her time. Uh, Dr. Prashanti, it's been an hour and I uh, feel like... Thank the questions will keep coming in so maybe i don't know how you want to do you want to take one two more questions or do you want to call it a day today one or two more and then maybe let's round it up to 7 40 that's my time here okay okay perfect yeah. uh, i'll just ask arundhati's question because she mentioned she's outside and i got it from amanji right now saying that she has low uh, or thyroid and hormonal issues and a low amh and she's around 40 do you think she can still naturally conceive she's outside and she won't be able to turn on her camera i think but she's online and we'll just answer this yeah yeah, I mean, detox very well. How long have you been detoxing? Again, it all depends upon how much of exposure to pharmaceuticals you have had in the past, how much of, uh, you know, uh, deter uh, like uh, errors in lifestyle have been committed in the past. A detailed history is needed. But again, have faith in your body and detox and then uh, see what you can do. Uh, so for the next six months or so, just focus on only your cleanup. Do not even think about trying or conceiving. You need to conserve all that energy. So again, physical intimacy during that time also needs to be reserved. So six months of just pure, uh, you know, focus on yourself and then consider about conceiving again naturally. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Vidya Sagarji will take your question. Uh, okay, Indu Dhir. Okay, Hello. Go ahead. Good evening, man. Yeah. yeah, good evening, man. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you are yes, audible. You are. Yeah, uh, I, I am following uh, Prudite uh, around the uh, 10 month, ma'am, and some chronic cystitis and gallbladder issue. So do you rec recommend to follow the water fast? And I also, I wish to gain weight because I I have lose, lose the weight more than 20 kg. So uh, I I used to suffer, uh, suffer underweight before the following the fruit diet. So what type of... Uh, Say so, so do you? Uh, yeah. For, for so, me, right? you need yeah. To do for you again, the longer we have been more, so it looks like you were a tea coffee drinker. I'm assuming because the way you're telling cystitis and everything, mostly it comes in tea coffee drinkers. So I'm assuming you had a lot of tea coffee during your prime time. Did you? Tea and coffee. So if you had all those, it takes some time, but just give it some time. I don't know how long you said you've been on it, but this is the only way for you to going forward. There is a lot of issues that are going on in the bladder. There is a lot of inflammation. So all of it will settle as you keep cleaning up all this acidic waste, as it leaves the system, all the mucus leaves the system. Things are going to get better. Okay, great. Uh, I think it's 740 for Dr. Prashanti and I don't want to keep her any longer. Uh, so I think we'll, we'll let Dr. Prashanti... Okay. Yeah. Well, no, I, there uh, is one more person who sent me a message, personal message. Let me see how I need to go. How I can go to my personal messages. Uh, so she was asking about fruitarian diet for babies as well as a continuation of immunizations, I think. Again, I explained the same thing. We're going to share that book with you guys. So you need to read more. I mean, dwelling in the community is very important, very, very important. But the thing is, again, knowledge is important too. So read those books and then, uh, yeah, babies, they need, don't start them on brain-based or anything. That's way too complex because you have to keep adding salt or doing other things. It's very complex for them. Fruit is the closest thing that we can get to breast milk. And do not ever wean off milk because up to two years or so, baby needs to be fed until they wean off, even up to three, up to four. They need, the breast milk is needed for them. So whatever they want to decide, you can do that. But fruit is the closest to the breast milk. And uh, regarding the immunization part too, it's the same thing. Uh, it's the same thing. Remember, 
why do you want to inject your children? If I put it, put those chemicals of the, uh, the immunization on a cupcake and give it to your child, you will de- definitely get me arrested. Then why would you want me to inject those things into your body, into your baby's body? You should not be doing those. That's totally against laws of nature. No chemicals are going to, there is a reason why we have a mouth because everything that comes in, it has to go through the mouth, not injected directly into the bloodstream. That's common sense 101. So important, important. Okay, so do not do this to your children anymore. Uh, hello, Ayushri, I just have a quick question if she has some time. Yeah, go ahead. A- okay. She's, yes, okay. yes. We have a case so, of a 58 years old man who has got a pacemaker implant uh, in 2008. Okay. And right now, the problem which he's having is of the, um, that is ejection fraction is as low as 22, okay? And uh, the issue is of uh, left ventricle dilation. So what can we suggest in this case? So is the pacemaker working fine? Because sometimes uh, with the pacemaker itself, people will have low ejection fraction sometimes. So what do you suggest is a fruitarian diet? So for especially for heart patients, it's very important to keep their digestive load on the lower side, okay? So which one is the one that gives the di- lowest digestive load? Fruits, okay? For fruits, they're all pre-digested, they're enzyme rich. There is not much work for the body to do. So it will keep the load on the heart very, very low. It really helps, it really improves their uh, this one. So fruit is the best thing to do for him. He was given some uh, anti-immunity medication. So is that right? Or he can stop if he's on fruit diet about the medication? Medication part, I don't want to answer without knowing the patient very well. So, yeah, I don't want to, but I don't know what anti-immunity medications were given to him. I need more history, but I'm just telling you in general about the lifestyle. Cardiac patients, the best thing to do is to go on a fruit diet. It really improves the healing part of the heart. Okay, thank you. thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Thank you so so much, Dr. Prashanti, for your taking out this time. I hope you can go get some sunshine and enjoy your Sunday now with the family. And mm-hmm. we look forward to having you back in two weeks. I'll be in touch with you. Yeah, sure. It's been a thank pleasure. You. It's been nice interacting with all of you. And yeah, thank keep you. growing. You guys inspire us more than anybody else in the fruitarian community. But again, important thing is understand why you're doing it rather than, you know, uh, just doing it uh, uh, just because everyone is doing it. But if you know more about it, understand more about how healing happens, then only you're going to, it's going to be more sustainable and it makes more meaning um, to uh, whatever we are doing. No, absolutely, absolutely. Thanks again for enlightening us. This was really eye-opening and we've learned so much in this one hour from you. And the others, I'll continue the session for a few more minutes. So don't worry, I'll take your questions and then we'll we'll discuss this. Uh, thank you again, Dr. Prashant. Uh, go, sorry, Induji, please go ahead. I will make sure your question is answered properly by either one of the mentors here or and then approach it with Dr. Prashant if needed. Hello. Hello. I'm Thank very sorry. Hello. Shri can answer the question as well. No problem. <laughs> she is also very good. Like she has a very good experience. Uh, well, okay. well uh, I'm learning from everyone here. So, and then we have all the most amazing mentors with you guys who are every day holding everyone's hands and teaching me so much as well. Thank you. Go ahead, Induji. I have a nasal and poly. परेशान हो रहे so what can I do? Some add salad for sure. So firstly, your age is 59. 59. 
तो ऑब्वियसली फिफ्टी नाइन ईयर्स में आपने ये फर्स्ट टाइम बॉडी को डिटॉक्स और क्लेंस करना चाहा है बिकॉज uh, अपने को इतना नॉलेज भी नहीं था कि दिस इज हाउ द बॉडी नीड्स टू फंक्शन बॉडी की क्या नीड्स है तो फर्स्टली तो इतने सालों में पहली बार आपने क्लेंस किया है uh, और अब बॉडी अच्छा तीन, तीन साल से मैं ना फूड ऐसे ही सैलेड फूड पे थी तो मैं ट्वेंटी एट के जी वेट कम कर चुकी हूँ अब तक में ओके okay. okay, पर पहले तो पहले तो ये समझना पड़ेगा आपके हेल्थ इश्यूज थे राइट लाइक पॉलिप्स थे या कुछ तो वो क्या थे वो नथिंग बट टॉक्सीमिया जैसे डॉक्टर प्रशांति ने भी अभी पूरे सेशन में समझाया कि इट्स जस्ट कि अपन एक स्केल पे कितने डिजीज है और कितने हेल्दी है अगर आप एक स्केल देखेंगे तो ऑब्वियसली एक तो एज के साथ और क्योंकि हम अपनी लाइफस्टाइल वैसे नहीं जी रहे थे जैसे हमें रहना चाहिए जैसे हमें खाना चाहिए जिस जिस खाने के लिए हम बने हैं इवन अगर आप तीन साल से फ्रूट्स और सैलेड्स ले रहे थे पहले तो हम सैलेड्स के लिए भी डिजाइन नहीं है फ्रूट्स इज आर इनेट नेचर क्योंकि सैलेड्स भी हम नॉर्मली पहले तक सॉल्ट के साथ ही खाते थे और सॉल्ट अच्छा अगर आप नहीं भी खाते थे तो भी आप उससे वजन ही कम कर रहे थे विच इज बेसिकली से बॉडी उतना वेस्ट होल्ड ऑन कर रही थी और वो धीरे धीरे डिटॉक्स कर रही थी एक तो अपन जिस कम्युनिटी में रहते हैं ना वहां पे सब जन ओवरवेट है मोस्ट पीपल आर लोडेड विद टॉक्सिन आई मीन वी आर ऑल लोडेड विद टॉक्सिन बिकॉज वी ऑल्सो लिविंग इन एन एनवायरमेंट खाना ही सब कुछ नहीं है एनवायरमेंट भी अपना ऐसा है जो नेचर से बहुत दूर है तो वी आर ऑल लोडेड विद टॉक्सिन तो जब बॉडी कुछ लूज कर रही है मतलब वो वेस्ट लूज कर रही है वेट नहीं लूज कर रही है आई थिंक आयुषी यूज दिस लाइन एंड आई लव इट कि इट्स एक्चुअली लूजिंग वेस्ट एंड नाउ जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट मी अर लिटिल यूर आई वॉज नेवर ओवर वेट आई बिन लाइक फोर्टी फाइव के जीज इज द हाइस्ट आई एवर गॉन टू इस डाइट पे आई लॉस्ट मे बी फोर के जीज तो मेरा वेट तो कितना कम हो गया लेकिन इट्स नॉट अबाउट द वेट या लोगों के हिसाब से मैं कैसी दिखती हूँ या वॉट द मेडिकल वर्ल्ड और द मेडिकल लिटरेचर से इट्स हाउ यू फील इन साइड ऑब्वियसली वेन द वेट लॉस हैपन एक बार आई डोंट इवन लुक गुड आई डोंट लुक हेल्थी सो पीपल अराउंड यहाँ लगे तुम कर क्या रही हो लेकिन वो एक एक फेज होता है जब आदमी बीमार होता है तो वो ठीक होता है एक बार आप थके हुए लगोगे जैसे अगर आप दिवाली साफ सफाई कर रहे हैं एक बार आप बहुत थक जाओगे लेकिन जब वो पूरी साफ सफाई हो जाएगी तब आपको वापस सब घर अच्छा लगेगा सब अच्छा एक बार तो सारा कचरा एक जगह लाके डंप करोगे सब चीज तो वही आपके साथ हो रहा है और वही हम सबके साथ हो रहा है द फैक्ट की एक पॉलिप भी है अभी तक तो बॉडी को वो पॉलिप को भी हील करना है और धीरे धीरे हीलिंग इज नॉट की एक साल में हो जाए या कुछ महीने में हो जाए हीलिंग को बहुत टाइम लगता है क्योंकि हम इतने सालों का अक्यूमुलेटेड लाइफस्टाइल और टॉक्सीमिया को रिवर्स कर रहे हैं और हो सकता है वो कभी पूरा हो भी नहीं लेकिन टू गेट अस इन द बेस्ट शेप पॉसिबल क्योंकि बॉडी का एक ही लक्ष्य है वो है कि आपको बेस्ट फील कराना और बेस्ट हेल्थ में फील कराना तो उस लक्ष्य के वो पास जाती रहेगी जितना आप अच्छी अच्छी चीजें करते रहो आपने पहले सैलेड और फ्रूट खाया बहुत अच्छा 29 किलो वेस्ट लूज हो गया अब आप और अच्छा कर रहे हैं आप सैलेड हटा दिए सिर्फ फ्रूट्स खा रहे हैं तो अब और वजन घटाएगा क्योंकि और वेस्ट घटाएगा और एक बार आपको अच्छा नहीं लगेगा एक बार आप दिखेंगे अच्छे नहीं लेकिन थोड़ा टाइम दीजिए जो चमक आपको अब आएगी और जो फीलिंग इंटरनली अब आएगी ना वो लाइफ में कोई चीज से कंपेयर नहीं हो सकती है इसलिए और ये अपने को ये भी सिखाता है कि हाउ वी शुड स्टॉप केयरिंग अबाउट व्हाट अदर पीपल थिंक हाउ विल वी डू दैट व्हेन वी आर नॉट लुकिंग आर बेस्ट आई वाज सो कॉन्शियस आई एम अ न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट एंड माय अपीयरेंस इज एवरीथिंग इन माय वर्कशॉप मतलब कोई मुझे देखेगा बट इट रियली टॉट मी की हाउ इट्स द कॉन्फिडेंस इट्स हाउ यू टॉक विद पैशन फ्रॉम इन साइड एंड इट्स हाउ यू कन्विंस पीपल एंड इट्स नॉट अबाउट हाउ यू लुक टूडे क्योंकि आज आप ऐसे दिख रहे हैं कल आप अच्छे दिख रहे हैं परसों आप ऐसे दिखेंगे इट डजेंट मैटर लाइफ इज अ साइकिल राइट वो तो चलती रहेगी सो आई फील लाइक दीज थिंग्स कम इन आर लाइफ टू टीच अस अ होल लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लेट्स लर्न ऑल द लेसन लेट्स गो विद द फ्लो एंड लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड की बॉडी जो भी कर रही है वो आपके अच्छे के लिए ही कर रही है हर चीज मतलब मेरे साथ अभी तक इतने अजीब अजीब डिटॉक्स होते हैं एक दिन फीट इज ब्लीडिंग प्रोफ्यूजली बट इन माई हेड आई नो दैट बॉडी इज डूइंग दिस फॉर माई बेटरमेंट 
and then when it heals i feel like another new person and this is going to keep going on there's no uh, like there it's like life to chalti rahegi cheeze hoti rahegi aur apan ko aage bas badhte rehna hai that's it that's the motto so i hope that aap ki nahi real hunger bhi nahi aa raha mere ko na real hunger sorry real hunger रियल हंगर नहीं आ रहा है तो अगर वो नहीं आ रहा है तो उसका मतलब है बॉडी खाना नहीं चाहती है बिना रियल हंगर के खाना मतलब आप बॉडी सिस्टम को ओवरलोड कर रहे हैं उसके बिना तो आप बिल्कुल मत खाइए कॉन्फिडेंटली आप एज डॉक्टर प्रशांति ने आज बोला और डॉक्टर गौरव जी तो हमेशा बोलते हैं बॉडी की सुनिए आप वॉटर फास्ट पे जाइए एटीन आवर्स जितने भी घंटे बॉडी को चाहिए वॉटर फास्ट करिए वजन का टेंशन छोड़ दीजिए एक बार जाएगा लेकिन वो अच्छे से वापस जब आएगा ना तो और अच्छे हेल्दी वे में आएगा सो so, और आप वॉटर फास्ट करिए एंड देन जब भूख लगे नेक्स्ट वापस खा लीजिए ऐसा हंगर खुलेगा कि बस भूख की भूख फिर लगेगी सो लेट द बॉडी डू एंड लेट द बॉडी बी योर बॉस यू डोंट आप बॉडी का बॉस नहीं बनने की कोशिश करिए मुझे तो आप कहीं किसी एंगल से पतले भी नहीं लग रहे आई तो फील योर ग्लोइंग self motivated all time but <laughs> woh hai ki people will talk i mean every time we'll hear there are so many people in the world so many perspectives i feel like it's not we are not actually saying it for us but uh, to put us down they are saying it because that's that's all they know right so we have to understand and just happily accept it but keep uh, connected with this community that will always make you feel motivated <laughs> great and just keep smiling like that everything will heal uh, lovely um, great ji ji ha sorry go ahead ha ha ji ek question hai bachcho ka ideal diet bata dijiye please ha mere ko abhi baad mein dikha इंटरनेशनल ग्रुप में तो डालने ही वाली थी और सारे ग्रुप में अपन फॉरवर्ड कर देंगे इट इज अमेजिंग मैंने दोनों पार्ट देखे तो और आइडियल डाइट जो ह्यूमंस का है वेदर किड्स वेदर कोई भी एज में वो तो फ्रूट्स ही है देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट नाउ इट जस्ट डिपेंड्स कि आपके बच्चे को आपने कितने टाइम या तो कुक फूड दिया है उसकी क्या एज है उसको कितना टाइम लगेगा पहले हील होने में और फिर वो फ्रूट्स को रियली really उसको ग्रो करने में क्योंकि पहले क्लीनिंग करेगी बॉडी फिर ग्रोइंग करेगी राइट right? तो क्या होता है लॉट ऑफ पीपल गेट ऑन दिस पाथ एंड देन दे डोंट सी कि उनका चाइल्ड ठीक से बड़ा हो रहा है या बढ़ रहा है या ग्रोथ हो रहा है पर वो लोग ये नहीं जानते हैं कि मेजोरिटी लोगों को तो बाद में जाके जो टॉक्सीमिया के असर दिखाई देते हैं इनको अभी क्लेंजिंग होएगा और फिर ग्रोइंग ऐसे रैपिडली होने वाला है लेकिन वो एक फेज आपको थोड़ा सा मतलब समझना पड़ेगा कि हम तो उसको बेस्ट दे रहे हैं जो उसको चाहिए और फिर वो कैसे इधर से ग्रो आ, मतलब करेगा तो एकदम अमेजिंग होएगा पर मैं वो वीडियो और मैं बुक्स जो शेयर करूंगी जो डॉक्टर प्रशांति ने बोला आई थिंक दैट विल रियली हेल्प अंडरस्टैंड बट आइडियल डायट मेरे हिसाब से and i think even dr prashanti agreed our ideal diet is the fruitarian diet and that is why it heals like no other diet but yeah can you add other things because this is a lifestyle and like she beautifully said ki apan ko bahut rigidity nahi enforce karna ab agar bachcha itne saal se kuch khaya hua hai aur agar wo kabhi kabhar matlab थोड़ा उसके मन का ग्रेन खा लिया कुछ खा लिया ऑब्वियसली कीपिंग ऑन मेरे भी खाते हैं मेरा भी मेरा भी तो खाता है 80 परसेंट वो फूड खाता है बट वो खाता है तो मैं उसको कहती हूँ खाने कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं वो रिजिडिटी अपने को भी स्ट्रेस देगा और बच्चों को भी स्ट्रेस देगा तो इसको ग्रेजुअल प्रोसेस भी कर सकते हैं बट आइडियल डाइट वंस अगेन फ्रूट्स ही है और ये वीडियोस मैं शेयर करूंगी ये बहुत हेल्प करेगा वो प्लीज शेयर कीजिएगा और उसमें हाइट वगैरह के लिए भी बच्चों के लिए बताया है की हाइट जैसे अच्छी हाइट के लिए ये सब भी है 
आपने पढ़ा right. है सो बेसिकली पूरा ग्रोथ हाइट क्या है ग्रोथ है तो ग्रोथ बेस्ट तभी होगा जब फाउंडेशन स्ट्रॉन्ग होगी और फाउंडेशन स्ट्रॉन्ग तभी होगी जब फ्रूट पहले तो जो पुराना क्लीन करेंगे और अगर शुरू से बच्चों को आपने इस पे डाल दिया तो उनकी फाउंडेशन बहुत सॉलिड रहेगी और फिर देखना ग्रोथ इतने लोग आजकल बड़े कर रहे हैं एंड दे आर आई मीन डॉक्टर डग्राम की बेटी सोलह साल की है ऑन अ फ्रूटेरियन predominantly fruitarian lifestyle. Uh, so we have to see also कि आजकल तो it's not like कि हम अकेले हैं हम कुछ नया revolutionary uh, कर रहे हैं सब मतलब this is very common knowledge. It's just कि we have to understand कि उनके like थोड़ा time जा सकता है जब वो cleaning phase में हो तो ये नहीं सोचना कि this is not working for our children. Um, okay great. Uh, Yeah, I hope that's uh, answers. My my resources are shared. Karungi. Uh, yeah, you should go ahead. You have a question, I see, or is it from before? Uh, yeah, actually, it's like uh, from participant side. They want to know the most natural way of uh, this contraception. Natural way of contraception is, I guess, just to maybe avoid indulgence. Uh, that's I would say. uh is yeah i i don't know any other, to be very honest i don't know how to answer this uh but we can take yeah. the Of, uh, yeah, Vidya, uh, uh, we have taken your question. Let me just finish all the others because even I have to leave. Ah, uh, Pushpanjali Chandrakar. Uh, Pushpanjali Chandrakar. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, ma'am, मेरे को तो कोई ज़्यादा खास issue नहीं है, लेकिन मेरे पापा heart patient हैं और उनको BP, sugar कुछ भी नहीं है, लेकिन उनके blood को बहुत thick है बोल रहे हैं और उनको एक बहुत बड़ी मतलब problem लगभग 20-30 सालों से है कि वो सुबह जल्दी फ्रेश नहीं होते मतलब कॉन्स्टिपेशन की शिकायत रहती है और वो बहुत मीठा खाते आ रहे हैं अपने पूरे लाइफ में और फ्रूट सैलेड बहुत कम खाते हैं और उनको बीपी सुगर कुछ नहीं है लेकिन उनके बोन में बहुत प्रॉब्लम है जॉइंट्स में और उनको दो बार हार्ट अटैक आ चुका है एनजियो हो चुकी है और उनके लिए पूरा पूरा हंड्रेड फ्रूट डाइट में आना मतलब सही है क्या तो पुष्पांजलि जी देखिए पहले तो समझना पड़ेगा उनकी एज जो है वो इतने साल जो लाइफस्टाइल जी हैं आना तो बहुत सही रहेगा लेकिन जब डिटॉक्स होगा पता नहीं वो कितना हैंडल कर पाएंगे क्योंकि जितने आपने सारे इश्यूज बताए वो सब डाइट और लाइफस्टाइल के ही इश्यूज है आई I मीन mean, अब तो पता लग गया है कि सारे इश्यूज उसी के कारण होते हैं तो जो आपने सब बताया वो एक तो जब रिवर्स होगा तो उनको बहुत सारे डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन आएंगे और पता नहीं उस एज में वो सारे हैंडल कर पाएंगे कि नहीं तो ऐसे केस में मैं तो बोलूंगी धीरे धीरे पहले उनको सब प्रोसेस्ड फूड पहले तो उनको वीगन बनाइए और जब तक वो वीगन नहीं बनेंगे जब तक वो समझेंगे नहीं तो एज गौरव जी बोलते हैं और मेरा भी ये मानना है कि ये फिर अपना कर्म है ये फिर अपने पार्ट आयुषी ने एक बहुत अच्छा प्रेजेंटेशन किया वो कर्मा पे वो आप उनको दिखा दीजिए तो उनको पहले तो ये समझना पड़ेगा कि हमारे कर्म हमारी लाइफ और संस्कार बना रहे मैंने कल कुछ सुना था कि अपने कर्म अपने संस्कार बनाते और अपने संस्कार अपना संसार बनाते तो ये बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है अंडरस्टैंड करना और तो इसलिए पहले तो उनको ये समझना जरूरी है फिर उनको धीरे धीरे सारा प्रोसेस फूड तेल अनाज नमक ये सब मीठा तो एकदम ही सवाल ही नहीं पैदा होता और सारे मीठा में जो घी होता है तेल होता है चीनी होती है वो सबको पता है कि अपनी बॉडी को क्या करता है तो ये सब या तो वो सफरिंग को एक्सेप्ट करे और या फिर वो चेंज करे दो ही ऑप्शन है और धीरे धीरे चेंज अपने करेंगे तो धीरे धीरे फिर उनको समझ आएगा उनकी समझ भी और अच्छी होएगी और फिर वो और जल्दी से फ्रूट्स पे आ सकते हैं और सुबह से 12 बजे तक पहले फ्रूट्स पे स्टार्ट करिए फिर उनका लंच फ्रूट्स पे करिए और फिर उनका डिनर फ्रूट्स पे करिए तो बहुत ग्रेजुअल प्रोसेस है लेकिन आपके पूछने से कुछ नहीं होएगा उनको मीटिंग्स में लाइए उनको सबसे बात कराइए तब जाके इसका कुछ असर आएगा ठीक है या श्वेता जी गो अहेड थैंक यू या थैंक यू हाय Uh, I just want to tell my history. Take I don't. Take a turn have... on your camera, uh, uh, Shweta ji, please. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so I've been a vegetarian from the last five years, uh, vegan from three years, and raw vegan for two months. Okay. Now I'm planning to start a fruitarian uh, diet. Okay. So I have like three to four uh, questions. See, one, I want to know how to avoid the impact of chemicals. Since where I live, uh, even if it is organic, I'm not sure whether it is hundred percent organic. So. Uh, I don't know. So how do I reduce the impact of it? That is one thing. And also I have the tendency to lose weight. You already addressed that question, not to worry about, uh, you know, the weight. But still, I want to know uh, people who have been on a fruitarian diet for long term, usually how many months or years it will take when we start reducing the weight. And then how do we, you know, come back to the original weight? So that is one thing. And also to avoid the cravings. So I was following the raw vegan diet. So I was eating salads and all. And I had to travel. So I started eating the normal cooked food. And I had so much craving. So I started eating all kind of, uh, you know, junk, deep fried foods. So how do I control that? Okay, great. Uh, so I'll answer your questions one by one. So firstly, I have been on this exact same path where I first became whole food plant based, then uh, raw vegan. And then now I'm a fruitarian since the last one year. And as you mentioned, I'll take it in reverse order because I'll talk about cravings first. So obviously, initially cravings did come. And uh, I mean, I didn't have so many and compared to most people, your cravings will be a lot less because you've already been transitioning to a more cleaner way of living. But still, when you get cravings, you have to understand, like you said, you ate cooked food, then cravings came. Because cooked food and salt, is they have such addictive properties that when you eat things that bring on these addictive properties in your body, then there, you get stuck in that cycle. You, It's like agar aap, you eat sugar, you'll experience the high. Then when you experience the low, you'll want sugar again. Then you'll get ca caught. It's called the chakra view. So it's kind of what happens. So once you'll have to enforce your willpower to make sure that, you know, you try to break the cycle. And then once you break it, you have to stay in touch with the community and understand that, you know, what is happening, see all the transition and also create a very solid why for why you're doing this. It's just, I just, you know, if, if it's just not going to have a real good, strong reason, it's going to be a little harder. Uh, but I feel with community support, with letting your body just experience maybe one month of discomfort, then for, I have not had any cravings for the last, I don't know how many months now, because it's like the body forgets your taste buds change. It's only letting your body do what it needs to do till your taste buds change. Ek bar aapka taste badle gana, aap jab next time go daloge, when you put it in your system, you'll immediately know that this is not food. This is not what how your body is designed to eat. So that's how I would say, uh, these are the ways I would say to best handle cravings. There's a lovely uh, video by Anjali and I see on cravings as well. Um, on Eat Fruit and Heal on YouTube, must watch it. It's lovely. It'll really help you handle your cravings. There are many small, small things they talk about, which is staying full, making sure that when you're around cooked food or when you're with people or you're cooking for someone, I'm also a chef and I cook food all the time and I still don't crave because I always do it with a full stomach and making sure I'm well satiated. So all these are very important tips. There are many ways... Like I said, you'll stay in touch with the community, you'll get all the ways and maybe we can talk a little more at length on cravings in another workshop. Then uh, you spoke about chemicals in fruits. Where, where do you live? Uh, Shweta, where do you live? Okay. I yes, just my soul. My soul? Okay. I, I feel like firstly in India, the chemicals are not as high as they are in the US when it comes to non-organic product produce because uh, and also when you eat a fruit, fruits are so good that their taste will only tell you how chemicalized they are or how they are not. So it's a, the sweeter the fruit and if they are well, and it's okay, the fruits have so much healing potential. 
that the chemicals on the fruits will still be better than eating chemical laden grains ya chemical laden vegetables ya or other things which like potatoes and other things which will be a lot more harmful because fruits have the whole spectrum of nutrients to heal you and also detox the chemicals agar thode bahut chemicals hai so i don't think you should worry about that at all and you should just eat and the taste will automatically tell you and then try to um i mean if you decide in your mind no the universe will also create avenues you'll start seeing things where you which you probably didn't even know of existed in your area when it comes to fruits right now you've not taken that dive so go ahead and take that dive and um then in the middle i sorry i forget your question it was about sorry it was about the weight yeah yeah uh, yes. that's a okay to talk to me about weight i don't think it makes sense <laughs> because like i said by by standards of everyone around except maybe my husband who thinks i still look amazing but by everyone around would be like you're too underweight if they knew my weight but it's more how strong and how fit your body looks and feels so to think that when will i get back to my original weight is the wrong way to think and the wrong way to even get into this lifestyle your original weight was not the right weight or because it was weight filled with waste and that is why you were weighing what you were weighing or it was according to what others outside you were telling you how you need to look and weigh that's not how you don't even know how good you can feel if your weight changes even though you might not look like what you're looking right now but you might even look better but you won't know that till you don't experience that so i think first you have to change that mindset and secondly with the fruitarian lifestyle like i said the body will first clean then it will build so while it's cleaning just like how when you're cleaning your house you might get tired you might not look the best that will happen and again change will be discomforting but you have to have to ensure because change is the only way to live life if change stops life stops so you have to change to grow and you have to make sure that your body changes to grow and that is why i would say that you have to let all the fears and inhibitions go and just let the body do what it needs to do and accept all of what it does with grace and gratitude that it's doing it for your best and that's all you need the weight i would not worry about the weight coming back whether it will come back i would just want to look and feel my best uh, sorry not even look to feel my best and to be the best version of myself which i know i couldn't be if it wasn't for all the changes that happened So I hope that answers your question, and I think we are going to have to call it a day. Luckily, there are no more uh, questions, so I feel like we'll we'll definitely take in more next week. Or I think Dr. Prashanti said that after two weeks she'll take the session. And in the meanwhile, I'll be in touch with the community because we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Uh, we have some really amazing people doing sessions for us. along with all the wonderful mentors so thank you everyone and uh, i just want to give a big shout out to mayavi ji pinky ji and all the amazing people who i absolutely miss from my bombay community <laughs> Uh, so thank you so much for this wonderful you, session. Thank you, Anushree. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, Anushree. That was a wonderful thank session. You, thank you, thank you, and thank yeah. you so much, Ayushree, Parul, and every uh, Amanji, yeah. and all the lovely people <coughs> for everything you are doing. There is and a forest. If he is there every single day, gratitude. I'm going to give Prashanti's the numbers to my daughter-in-law in the US, so they let her connect with her. You know, because yeah. she's always against me eating fruits. So here is one doctor who's saying eat fruits. You know exactly. that's why I said she's such a rare gem. You know, so yes. there's also. So I, I'm called... I'm going to send her details to my daughter and tell her to please connect with her. You know. Yeah, and also I'll give you the group's link. So on that group, Doctor Prash, I can actually put in the uh, the it's name the... of the group on WhatsApp, or maybe I don't know. I'll send it to all the mentors and they can forward it. Uh, yeah. Sure. So be- can connect with dr prashanti ask the questions there also and she regularly actively participates and it's a group of like 250 of us who are uh, you know making sure that she is like, in north lake so she is in what florida and elenius where is no so dr prashanti is in new orleans uh, louisiana 
New Orleans? Okay, okay New Zealand. Okay, she's in yeah, New Orleans. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, Got yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, okay. yeah. Um, so, I'll definitely share the link and we'll obviously, hopefully, keep seeing her every other Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'll be nice. That'll be nice to hear her. Yeah, she said once in two weeks. She actually has kids and obviously with cardiology here, it's a little hard. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, lovely that she's doing this and Gaurabji organized yeah. this for us. So, this is awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Anushree, for bringing on this platform. Yeah, no, learning from you all and trying also to be more active. Nice. Uh, yeah, thank you. And I'm going to enjoy the Sunday now with my husband while you all can Please do. go to sleep and rest up. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Well, Bye. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Don't don't talk about it, please. I mean, that's what creates mental. Stress. I wish we could send you some. <laughs> no, really, I, you know. Every, every day, Bombay, I go. <laughs> every day, I tell my husband, "Come on, you, sir. Please, India, chalo, India, chalo." <laughs> and he's like, "Come, go, go. I can't come now. So, and I don't feel like leaving him. It's a choice between mangoes and my husband. I don't think I can leave okay. him. One day, mangoes will be nice thing." <laughs> I I agree. Very soon, a बहुत दिन ऐसे आते हैं कि मेरे को मन करता है मैं अब भी आ जाऊँ. So, so यहाँ पे अल्फांसो मिल रहे हैं, but they are like इतने treatments करके US आते हैं ना तो then no no yeah they, they go under radiation. वही so, so I go, I yeah. had because they are banned actually they now. go they have to go they have to get radiated if we send there. So I don't yeah. send them to the US at all. I think I'm going to stop seeing all groups if y'all keep posting mango pictures. I'm not okay, we won't. Stop. Okay, we won't. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm kidding. I think that will keep more reminding me of why we need to live in India and not the US. Yeah, true. Yeah, I hope your shoulder is better. I keep asking. Yeah, it is much better. It is much better. Your break yeah. must have been amazing, now. Yes, yes. It it has really helped. It is much better. I don't want to go back to much you said again, and then you know, get go into the same problem. It is much, much better. Thank you. No, just keep at whatever you're doing, and I think you'll yeah. आपका जो detox है बहुत जल्दी खत्म होके again yeah. you're gonna be like shining as new and once again belated happy birthday and oh, thank it you. It's just so lovely to see that 65 may you're thank having your you. new birth. Very inspiring. Very inspiring. Yeah, I said you. it with my mom and everyone. I was like, please, thoda seekho inse. <laughs> That's Thank amazing. You. Great. Chalo, bye. Okay, good bye, night, bye, everyone. Thank bye. you. Good, good night. Okay. Bye. Bye, Anushree. Bye, Anushree. Bye, bye. You can end the session here. Yeah.